What's up, Internet? Welcome. Pretty stoked, because look what I got right here. Rear sets. These are Woodcraft. Look right here. For racing use only. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I'm officially less sad about destroying my old rear sets. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty... That's pretty mangled up, right? <clears throat> less sad. I'm I'm less sad now. These these look quite nice. Let's get them on the bike. Okay, I've opened the package, broken all the pieces out, and let's take a look up close. So they do give you some instructions, which is nice, nice thought, and I did actually read them. Um, so yeah, they tell you to remove the stock ones. A couple of I'm just going to give you the highlights. Okay, number one. They do tell you to secure all the nuts and bolts with red permanent Loctite, which I had planned to do because I don't plan to ever take these back off again, unless I crash again. Um, on the Suzuki, this is probably specific to this particular make and model bike. There's supposed to be a spacer between the brake pedal and the, the mounting bracket, the rear set. And if we put this together, so here's the one for the right side. You get your mounting holes for the watch them call it. I'll think of it in a second. The master cylinder, the master cylinder. And I'm just gonna hold these tight. So you've got the peg, you've got the pedal mechanism here, um, and then you've got the bracket. Can y'all see that? Let me get up close. So there is a little bit, let me turn this way. There's a little bit of a gap there, you see that? So the instructions are saying that on the OEM, there's a spacer there. So I don't have the OEM. Well, I've got some shit in a box over there, but the rear set that's coming off the bike's not the OEM. Anyway, we'll see about that as we get into it. Take a look at the pegs. These feel super, super light for racing only. I like the fact that they've got this, the, the brake pedal hinge is anodized black. I think it's kind of cool because it, it breaks up all the, I don't know, what is this, brushed aluminum? So let me turn it this way. Kind of just breaks everything up. I dig it. We'll look at it again once it's all on the bike, but um, this looks kind of cheap. now. These pegs look great, like I said, and they feel very, very light. They've got these little plastic ends. Let me see if I can hold that so you guys can see it better. And they just they just shove in here. I don't know, that part feels a little cheesy. It's like, you know, they're at like 90% done, and then the last 10% is just cheesy. Uh, otherwise, these things look great. I cannot wait to get them on the bike. One thing to note is the mounting hardware. They don't give you, they give you bolts for the pegs. All right, so ah, here's the bolt for the, for the peg. So this goes through from the inside of the rear set into the peg, but they don't give you any of the mounting hardware for the rear set to mount to the frame of the bike. So make sure that you um, keep all the originals because you will need those so two screws for two screws here to mount on the frame and then the two screws at the top smaller screws for the master cylinder you need the originals so don't get rid of those all right i think it's time to start piecing everything together Why am I sucking on a hose? Well, we have a completely rebuilt system that is bone dry from the caliper line to the master cylinder brake reservoir. So I'm pulling brake fluid from the reservoir through the master cylinder brake line and into the caliper by just sucking it through. 
Um, you need to pay attention to the level in your brake reservoir. I didn't speed this up. This is real time. You can see how quickly the brake fluid is dropping in the reservoir as I suck it into the brake caliper through the master cylinder. You need to repeat this because the rear caliper actually has two bleeder valves. You need to do um, you need to do this twice to really prime the caliper and get fluid into the caliper before we can do this, which is probably something we're all very familiar with, and that is pumping the brake pedal, opening a bleeder valve, and then closing the bleeder valve, getting all the air out of the system. And again, you need to repeat this for both the external and internal bleeder valves. Once you do this, you'll be rewarded with working brakes. Before we end this video, I just wanted to leave you with a couple of thoughts that I had. Um, first is probably more of a tip. Because the entire system is new and clean or rebuilt, um, I actually, and, and because I'm cheap, I actually drained the, as I was priming the system, uh, I drained the fluid back into the bottle of new brake fluid. Because if you think about it, the reservoir is clean. The master cylinder has been clean and rebuilt. The brake line is brand new. The caliper has been clean and rebuilt. The fluid is running through essentially a new clean system. Why, why bleed brand new brake fluid that's going through a brand new system and then throw it away? So, and essentially because it's bone dry, you have to suck so much brake fluid. Literally, I sucked the brake fluid through the system. Um, it, it's, it's almost, it's just a waste. So. I actually um, primed the system and dumped it back into the brand new bottle of brake fluid. That's me. I'm cheap. I think it's legit. I'm sharing that tip with you guys. Do what you want. Uh, hang on a second. Not saying I'm not happy with this Woodcraft rear set. I am. I am happy. But a couple of things I noticed. One, um, these mounting screws. I don't know if it's going to come through the camera. Doesn't look like it will. Um, but these screws are made to be recessed into the bracket and they're not. They're kind of sticking out a little bit. And so one thing that worries me is this might catch on your boots or your clothes. Um, that's just something that I need to look for and, and, and keep an eye out on. The other thing is the OEM, and I don't know if the, I'll have to go back and look at one of my older videos, but the OEM system, I know for sure, had a bracket that bolted underneath here, and it actually had a protector that went over the master cylinder and protected it from um, whatever. I don't know, your boots, clothes, rocks, I, I don't know. But I just know that that was something, that was a thing. And now the master cylinder is completely exposed. I don't know if that's a super big deal. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is take this hose clamp. and rotate it to the inside so that this doesn't catch on my boots or my clothes. Um, and we'll just see what happens with, let me see if I can get a better angle. So you can kind of see how it's sticking out, but um, it is what it is. They look great. They're very functional and they're for race only. All right, last thing I want to point out is this guy right here is your brake light switch for the rear brake. So when you press the pedal down, it pulls this spring right here and that pulls the switch and that activates the rear brake light. Now, this is, this is no fault of uh, Woodcraft and their rear set system because it is completely advertised as race only. And who cares about your brake light switch when you're racing, right? You don't care. You would probably pull that off. If this was a full-time race bike, that wouldn't even be on there. However, um, I do care about the brake light switch. And I'm going to have to come up with something because the spring is too short. I can't really see, but it, it basically ends right there. And it won't reach the brake lever. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your support. If you'd like to support the channel, check out patreon.com slash monkeybutt. Um, also, monkeybuttrides.com. We've got merch up there. And um, until the next time, keep the rubber side down. We'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully riding that thing with just a rear brake. Uh,
I mean, let's be serious here. I've been making dumb decisions for a long time. Why stop now?